All right, how's that? You see it? All right, uh, so I wanted to talk about my coding journey and how I leverage my IT background. Um, first, I wanted to introduce myself and also introduce uh, what I do. Uh, my name is Anthony Husbeth. I'm a senior uh, system administrator. Currently, I work for a managed service provider. I have been in IT for over 20 years, starting from the help desk, moving to system analyst, to system network administrator, now developer. Uh, job duties in general, my role is to help support my clients' computer systems by installing, designing, and protecting them. Uh, this includes uh, user local area network or LAN. Uh, where problems come up, I, I examine and research the issue to see that it's fixed. Um, I perform routine maintenance and monitor uh, the entire uh, client's infrastructure to ensure everything is running smoothly. On the network security side, uh, for some of my clients, I, I work alongside computer security uh, specialists, while other clients I oversee the security uh, networking network by installing, configuring, and monitoring the firewalls. Uh, I also monitor user and security using endpoint detection response or EDR. Sorry. All right. Uh, for disaster disaster recovery, um, I configure and monitor uh, client backups. Uh, these backups include uh, their data and server. Uh, these servers uh, can be physical and or uh, virtual. Um, a technology interpreter or a translator, uh, for some of my clients, uh, they may not know exactly what it is that they want. Uh, so I, I gather information to figure out how my clients uh, would like to use their computer system or you know, infrastructure or network. Uh, for example, uh, uh, if the client wants to use their uh, computer or they want to order a computer and they want to use their computer for a data entry, uh, you know, for desktop apps like such as Microsoft apps or Google apps, or do they want to use their computer for any type of designing, uh, like a CAT, uh, CAT software? So, you know, a CAT system will use more memory and more processing power. So my job will be to explain the difference to the, uh, to the customer and, you know, that way to help them accomplish what they're, what they're trying to get. Uh, so, um, this and uh, this particular part portion of the presentation, I'm talking about how I leverage uh, my background. So, uh, working as a system analyst, or actually, I'm sorry, skip one. Yeah, so this particular portion of uh, I'm talking about how I leverage my background. Uh, when I first started, I started working on uh, working in IT, I started on the help desk. Uh, on the help desk before we can even ask for a tier two, tier two, uh, two support for help, uh, we had to go through a checkoff list uh, as well as write out our question. Uh, there's two things that this did. It helped us uh, narrow down the issue and it also helped us uh, uh, view the issue. So for example, if a, a customer called in having a monitor issue, uh, we had to ask, you know, does it make sure uh, or verify that it's getting any power to it make sure the light's on, make sure it is, if it's connected to APC, is a APC uh, turned on or, the, you know, com cables connected correctly. And so what that did was that just helped you uh, get an idea of how to uh, break down a problem. And then when you write it out, uh, you, you basically get a scope or, or a view of the uh, issue. Um, working as a system analyst, there's two things that this did. Uh, you, you developed a, a, a tri timer and then you Google it. Uh, you spend some time working on uh, working out a problem before asking for help. Uh, and then Google became a big part of my troubleshooting. Um, when you combine uh, Google and, and a try timer, uh, what you do is you you, uh, you Google uh, for a solution for like spend some 30 minutes to, uh, to an hour working that solution out. And if that doesn't work, Google again uh, spend 30 minutes to an hour trying to figure that out. And doing this over and over, what I found in uh, tech support, uh, 
it, it was not about having a lot of knowledge, but it was more about how and where to find the answer. Uh, being a system administrator, um, documentation, uh, being a system administrator helped me uh, gain a habit of documenting and note taking. Um, for example, uh, we had a customer who or I did some work on their server. Uh, they had called back and said, hey, Anthony was working on our server and now I can't access Great Plains. I was busy with another client, but my uh, coworker was able to look at the notes that I wrote down in a ticket. And he was able to determine that what I did on the server had nothing to do with that, but it was a, a client side VPN that was having an issue. You know, how this helps me in coding is it helps, you know, documentation helps the helps the team get on the same page. Um, also, it helps with my memory. Um, there have been times I worked on a problem. I remember uh, I had uh, we had a customer I built. I put a network together and I opened up a particular port on a firewall. And uh, I would say about a year down the line, we saw some activity that we couldn't uh, understand where that uh, activity is coming from on that port. And so my co-worker was looking at it and was like, hey, I guess we need to uh, close this port. And when we closed the port, we found out there uh, they caught we got a call from a customer saying that the us uh, uh, their security camera wasn't communicating. And I forgot that that's that particular software on that uh, that port needed to communicate to a software. And so that that's a lesson learned on, man, making sure you notate. Uh, also going back to that, I, I can see just in coding, uh, a lot of my codes right now, because I'm new, it's not very long, uh, but I can, I can tell right now that if I, I don't notate and I can leave for a few minutes and come back and uh, not even remember why I did that function the way I did it. Uh, so notating, notating is really, really important. Um, being a system administrator, uh, you get thrown in the back, uh, the deep end. Um, sorry, you get, sorry, you get thrown in the deep end. Um, uh, being a system administrator, sometimes it's trial by fire. Um, a lot of times you get handed products that you never done before. Um, and sometimes you get handed uh, projects you have done before, but it doesn't go the same way that it, uh, you did it the first time. And for example, we had a customer where uh, we did a Gmail to Office 365 conversion and everything went perfect. Uh, we did it for another co uh, customer and we spent the whole hour to find out that it was uh, a GoDaddy was holding on to a, another email. But because of this, I'm not afraid of uh, taking on coding projects. Uh, my focus on while I'm on my coding journey, uh, because because of my experience, I do not focus on accumulating a lot of knowledge, but it's more about where to find it. Um, I focus more on the fundamentals. Uh, the fundamentals being, you know, how condi how conditionals work, basic structures of the syntax, uh, what are functions, what are classes. Um, and I, I focus on, on where, where to look for the solutions. Uh, currently, right now, is Google and uh, Stack Overflow. Uh, gaining experience. Uh, currently, I'm on the 100 Days of Code course on Udemy. Uh, for me, it's not about finishing the course as fast as possible, but more about understanding how and why. Uh, I also try to code projects uh, in a course a different way. Um, I can, uh, I can, I have an example to show y'all. Uh, here's one where we did a, uh, uh, it was called a coffee machine program. And as you can see, it's uh, nested, uh, dictionaries. Oh, sorry. Um, and here's some of the code. Um, Here's an example. You pick a, a coffee and you insert the coins that you need just to make sure that we have enough money. And then it tells you to change, gives you a latte, and then you can just turn it off. And so 
what I do is I focus on trying to uh, code it a different way. And so what I did was I created a program called the Drink Machine. And um, the Drink Machine, um, as you can see, uh, my I did the dictionaries different where I, I loaded the, you know, soda, the types, you know, red, green, purple. You got drink energy, you got those. And so mines he kind of uh, kind of did the same thing uh we enter in mines i put dollars uh just to make sure we have enough money and i did mines based on like a vending machine type of instead of uh Instead of using ingredients, I did mines based on like a uh, like it's a vending machine, and so I wanted to do like a report, like you know you can make some money off of it. If, if you want to keep track of how much money you're making, uh, you can do that. So I just added something a little different to it, just to make sure that I'm understanding uh, the coding uh, and understanding what she did uh, in that project. Uh, the programs that I am currently learning is Python, uh, HTML, and CSS. Um, you may ask why HTML and CSS. Uh, the reason why is because I started learning, when I first started learning, I just learned Python. And my kids, or in particular my daughter, she noticed I was learning uh, 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 coding. And so she went on YouTube and started learning HTML and CSS, or actually HTML. And so I had bought her a course on HTML and CSS. And then she started asking me questions about what she's doing. And she started putting, actually building a website or web page uh, uh, where her mom can uh, look for recipes and stuff. And so she's got the point where she can do a username and login and stuff. And so whenever she asks questions, I want to make sure I can, can help her. So that's why I started doing that. And in conclusion, um, I'm looking. I'm still looking for the game more experience, uh, taking on more projects. Um, I have a I have a blog. Uh, right now, it's just about uh, system administration stuff, but you can come check that out. Uh, and you can contact me on LinkedIn, uh, Slack, and that's also my email address. And that's it.